What's up, everybody? Today, I am going to talk about my whole reading experience in 2023. And I'm gonna break it down into like three main sections the good, the amazing, and the ugly. When it comes to the good, I feel like one thing that really stood out to me was, and this feels pretty obvious, but it, it's, it becomes more obvious when you read more, there's still so much to learn. Like it is, oh my God, it's kind of painful how much there is to learn, um, but honestly, it's, it's nice. I, I, I feel like, um, it's definitely a lifelong endeavor and I'm pretty happy to take part in it in, in some way. I feel like this year, wow, I was really surprised by um, really anything in psychology. Like I've always been interested in um, that domain, but I just didn't know how complicated it's been and really the implications it has for so much. I, I feel like I've talked about this book so many times, but I, I love it a lot. And I feel like it definitely uh, created a whole other thing that I'm very interested in now. The book I'm talking about is The Psychology of Everyday Things. Um, really fascinating book. I just I just love to think of how, um, how we interact with something it isn't just based on us, but it's also based on the very object itself and various other, um, elements at play like uh the feedback or restrictions that are happening and I, I don't know i i thought that was really fascinating and i'm like like the good thing the good thing and this is the point that i want to really emphasize the good thing about making yourself read so much is that at some point you're gonna have to or really at, at the very least you're going to really want to um explore other subjects and and when it comes to this subject, like, I don't know, I, yeah, psychology very broadly, but also like uh, design stuff. I didn't think I would be interested in that stuff at all, but it definitely has led me to a bunch of other stuff that I'm looking at now. And I'm glad about that. I don't, do I know whether or not it has implications for the stuff I study? I, I don't know, <laughs> but it's interesting and I, I mean, maybe one day it might be very valuable information to me, but for now, I'm glad that I've um, studied that to some degree. And even um, this year, I read um, what was it called? The Art of Thinking Fast and Slow. That's some pretty interesting stuff. I mean, there's I don't know. Those books are very fascinating to me because I would very much like to think that people are in control of their actions that they um, aren't so influenced by their environment. But that's just not the case. I mean, research doesn't show that that's how it works. Um, like they point out at one point that judges tend to be much much harsher when they're hungry, which I mean, it seems almost ridiculous, but man, that's crazy stuff. It's just little things like that are so, are so fascinating to me. Um, because again, yeah, like you're, you're kind of questioning, well, so much. First, the justice system um, or justice in general and human agency. And it's wild that that's even a phenomenon that has been um, researched. And, uh, and it's just little things like that that I, I learned um, throughout this whole reading journey that I really liked. And then even in my own field, I, I feel like, um, I mean, I have a degree in English and I've studied rhetoric, you know, and it's it's cool i i mean i i, don't, I really like rhetoric <laughs> like i i i don't know why I, I just think it's very fascinating and that's my whole like involvement with the stuff but there is still so much to learn and and so much to think about really and, and i find it so difficult um like one thing i, I remember reading in i think eco speak and they discuss <laughs> like very early on it was like do you or do you not use the cultural logics or language being used at the time to the advantage of your message because in doing so you might give that message more credibility like that same message that you're trying to argue against so it's like what do you do in that situ situation i i don't know 
but it's it's fascinating that like those are the things I'm still struggling with and I still have to learn I, I, I feel like um, throughout this whole like reading journey of, of 100 books yeah that that's like the main thing like wow there's still just so much so much to learn like it just feels like there's something to look forward to and I'm happy about that now let's talk about the amazing aspect to me and I have to admit <laughs> this was like almost um, very like a self gratification thing or whatever I'm just happy that I was able to do it I remember I had a friend over once and man he really gave me some shit for it I remember I mean I have these two bookshelves and uh, that that's the older one over there you don't see it on the screen or whatever but he pointed to the books and was like well have you read this one I was like no have you read that one uh, no and like he kept doing that and I don't know I, you know he was my friend so obviously it's just like um, he was poking fun at me but at the same time I, I have to admit there was some shame you know I, I, I did feel bad after saying no you know I, I, I knew how little I've read and yeah I feel like I was wasting my time like I, I don't know I don't know what I was doing but I couldn't you know at the time I, I really struggled to finish any book really but now things have completely changed there's definitely so many of these books that I've read and man I, like <laughs> I know there's that saying I don't know if you ever heard of it but they say don't see your bookshelves as a trophy case that makes a lot of sense but you know what I'm not gonna stop myself from being proud of what I've read like come on a hundred books in one year yeah I'm gonna be happy about that and I feel like I mean it really shows something about my character to some degree where it's like I do have some um, dedication and um, like a good work ethic right to me that was amazing like I am I definitely progressed in the in a way that I really want to now let's talk about the ugly um, to be honest God, I don't want to say this, but it is stressful. It's really stressful. Um, like, I mean, at the time when I was reading all these books, I, I was um, still in college. Um, <laughs> oh, God. I make that sound like it was a long time ago. Like, by, of the recording of this video, it's been less than a month of my graduation ceremony. But whatever, like... <laughs> oh, God, that's so stupid. But yeah, uh, back, back when I was in, in, in college or whatever, I was uh, well, obviously a college student. Um, I was working and I had an internship. And I'm not gonna lie, the work and the internship, eh, they weren't too much. And I don't know, I was kind of lax about school. Not super lax, but enough to have like the free time to do this stuff uh, of, of reading um, 100 books. I felt like I really had to push myself sometimes. And that, like, I always didn't, I didn't always feel great about the experience, even though it really should be something enjoyable i mean like i feel like i'm learning a lot i mean i was reading bell hooks i was reading tony morrison i was reading uh, samuel beckett you know I, and i can't list them all out i don't i don't remember every little thing i read but the point is that should have been a greater more enjoyable experience like one i could like really like like cherish in the moment and that wasn't always the case like I was sometimes just moving through them and um, not stopping to enjoy that moment of, of insight or, or um, appreciation of the great art that I was reading. And that was painful. I, 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 I wouldn't say that happened every time. <laughs> I mean, you know, but it definitely happened enough times where I see it as a problem. So for next year, which I guess is now, um, I'm going to only read 70 books. 70, my, my, I'm hoping that's like the sweet spot for me. Um, I just wanna enjoy the experience and not feel so like, I don't know, like the amount of anxiety I had during this reading periods was kind of insane. Um, it, uh, fine, I, I have a condition, you know, I have like a, you know, anxiety disorder, but I don't appreciate that the challenge of reading 100 books was really bringing that out for me. Like I. I don't want that to be a thing. Overall though, 
I don't regret the experience. I really enjoyed it and I'm happy that I did it. Um, man, I didn't know I could read that many books. So I'm really, yeah. Like I impressed myself kind of thing. I'm really happy about that. Like I, I saw where my limits can go. I feel like I could have gone higher than that too. But if you enjoy these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. It always helps. I am such a small channel right now. Some of my views are definitely getting up there. I, I like whenever a video gets more than like 300 views. Um, but I'm not getting too many subscribers. So if you really enjoy this content, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a like.